All right, so moving on to Brisbane. <laughs> so uh, key ins, uh, Tom Doty, obviously, uh, Brandon Ryan, key outs, Tom Fullerton, uh, over to the D's, and Jack Unston. Yeah, so uh, you know they moved on a fair few picks. They were a pretty busy club, Brisbane, in the end, just with some deals here and there, but most of it kind of centered around key position uh, assets. So as you mentioned, Tom Duda in for nothing is is a big tick for them. Yeah, um, big win. He obviously had some good interest from Victoria, and being a Victorian, that's a, that's a big coup for them. Just given you know they're managing to pull a guy who's already interstate into a into a new state that's not his home. So that's that's great for him. The Brandon Ryan one was a. Bit of a shock. Obviously, the the Gunston trade request came in, um, you know, less than a week out from mm. from the deadline. So that kind of would have, I think, blindsided all parties uh, involved. And um, the Lions were smart to kind of just push for Ryan very quickly. They they had kind of mentioned they had an eye on him, you know, ahead of this year's mid season draft. You know, they didn't have a pick for that count, so you know they might have looked for him then. Um, but when Gunston wants to leave and you've got Tom Ford and gone, then it, it can't, the, the Ducks kind of lined up quite nicely. Um, and yeah, I think they get in a really good, cheap, um, tall forward who can also ruck. You know, he's going to be behind the likes of, um, you know, what McInerney, Danaher, Hipwood and Fort. Um, but there's going to be opportunities for, for him for sure, I think, at some point next year. And he had some good stints across his three games. Oh, it was really two and a half games for, for the Hawks, including three goals against Collingwood in round 21. So that's an interesting one. Uh, yeah, obviously the Gunston one, it was, yeah, couldn't really see that one coming uh, mm. late, even late into the piece. But um, he got his wish to go back to Hawthorne. It's, it's obviously a uh, bit of a blow for Brisbane given their, their plans, but they've done well to get Ryan in. And as mentioned, Duda at the other end of the field is going to be quite nice. When they've already got Andrews and Payne and Gardner and Leicester and um, find that they found that McAdam replacement, so that's good. And Fulton, um, look, they were pretty open to just parting with him. They, you know, he didn't really get a look this year. Uh, he's kind of in that role will kind of be taken up by Ryan, um, and he'll he'll have to fight for the, for the spot that that Fulton mm-hmm. couldn't quite get either. But uh, Melbourne do quite well in that. And we'll, we'll speak on on their trade plans in a little bit. But um, yeah, quite quite a balanced one for Brisbane. I think they'll be they'll be happy with with. You know, not having to give up all that much um, yeah. and still kind of, you know, balancing out their list nicely after finishing in a grand final. The one that probably isn't mentioned is Devin Robinson and retaining him on a, on a new deal and not losing him to West Coast. So um, really strengthened their depth, get a new starter in, in, in Tom Duday. Um, so, yeah, that's that's very nice for, for the um, Lions, I think. They do lose a little bit of experience with Gunson going out and then, you know, Rich retiring. But yeah. um, I think they're at that point now where they're just a very strong team and the experience isn't too... Much of a loss. And, yeah. And Gus has only been there well, for I guess, a year. Or well, anyway. the Gunston thing's interesting. Like, he didn't, he missed the middle part of the year because of form. So that mm-hmm. kind of goes to show that, you know, he wasn't always a best 22 player. Well, too. well, that too. Um, but then, even by the by the time the grand final came around and he was actually fit to play, they they didn't name him despite him being, like, you know, their most experienced finals player. So that was quite an interesting tale in his first season. And obviously, mm-hmm. he's, he was keen to get back and he's, he's returned to Waverley. So, um, yeah, I think it's all worked out well for, for all involved in that one. Yeah, nice little holiday up north for Gunston. 